Lake Mauna again on a beautiful day. Crazy, crazy warm for January the 5th. And uh, it's just beautiful out here. All right, backing out. I can go down here and throw the toad on top of these pads where I'm looking. I've done that many, many, many times. Okay, here's the usual procedure is to throw a toad, zoom horny toad, back into these pads. Can you see my bait coming through there? It's a nice thing about the horny toad, it gets up on top of the pads and then drops down between them. And I've got the slightest east wind just carrying me right down this pad line. <laughs> nope. There's a lot of hydrilla, big bit of hydrilla right off these pads. Well, I've drifted down here to the fence and uh, throwing this horny toad. And uh, I haven't got a strike, but I've disturbed a few bass. <laughs> so there is life over there. And go over here and throw the uh, one knocker. I got a chrome one knocker on. I've been joined by Max Wolpert. There he is over there in that uh, blue and cream colored smoker craft, red shirt. This is an unbelievably pleasant day for January the 5th. I'm throwing this uh, spinner bait kind of back in the woods. Let me turn on the other. I mean back in the weeds. Let me turn on the cap cam. There you go. I'm throwing it, throwing it back in there like so. Slow rolling it until it gets hung up. Okay, I guess I'll work up the south shoreline. So, Max, I'm going to work my way up the south shoreline here for a ways with this spinner bait on, see if I can get anything off the shore. Okay, I'll, if you do, I'm getting nothing down here. I'm trying the little uh, creature baits in the pads and stuff, nothing. Roger on that. I think this is a pretty scene up through here. This is the uh, south shoreline of uh, Lake Mylan and there happens to be a fisherman up ahead there on the shoreline. Getting hung up, huh? Yeah, about every third cast. <laughs> Even on the horny toad? Yeah, the horny toad's the one I was hanging up on. Well, if you get hung up on a horny toad, uh, not much you can do. No, these pads uh, just don't pull out easy like they sometimes do. Well, I'm moving right up the south shoreline here, moving east, throwing into the uh, the grass that's uh, growing out in the water. Uh, no pads or anything here, and not, not much hydrilla, fortunately, so we'll see. Yeah, the grass might be a good place to be. See, it's got a trailer hook on it. See the trailer hook there? Even picked up some, some weeds coming through it. Sinker on here. I think it just—it's got some beads on it too, and I think it just contributes to the. I just missed a nice fish. Hey, did you hear that, Max? Just just missed a nice fish. What's the details on that fish? I was I was coming away from the pads there, trolling, and uh, just kind of jerking the one knocker, and bam, hit it. And as soon as I pull back, boom, off he goes. 
I could I could tell it was definitely a fish. Well, I'd rather fish with a one knocker than I had this stuff I'm trying to catch on now, so I don't know, maybe I'll just go back to uh, a crankbait and fish down uh, toward the east end and uh, see what happens. Yeah, I'm headed down your way. I'm out in uh, six feet of water, lots of uh, either bait fish or schools and stuff down there, brush or whatever, but that was a good hit. Just never hooked them up. Is that you? Is that you in the uh, southwest corner down there? Roger. Is that you in the southwest corner? Yeah, that's me. Okay. All right. Hmm. Copy that. Roger on that southwest corner. I'm just trolling. I've got the uh, Rapala out one side and the one knocker on the other. I was just trolling, jerking them back and forth. Well, that's something new. Uh, I could do that very nicely. Just, just pedal down the lake with a couple of rods out. Well, I had one on, I didn't even know it. I was uh, throwing a crankbait, um, and uh, he hit. It felt like a weed. It wasn't the usual fish hit, but he jumped, so I know I had a fish. Yeah, that sounds a little better. I was about ready to give it up. Yeah, I've been sitting here thinking, gee, this is flat as glass, nothing seems to be happening. I should have got one out and hit ball. Well, hitting balls never occurred to me. Waver fish on the one knocker. Okay, it's pretty shallow down there. I'm surprised uh, you can throw the one knocker. That's a good one. Seems you've gotten into them. Well, did you get that fish in or not? Yeah, I keep forgetting. I'm talking to the camera instead of the, the phone. Uh, yeah, I got him, man. It was just about 12, 13 inches. Not a big one. It hit it hard as soon as it hit the water. Roger on that. Sometimes those, those small fish can really knock the heck out of the bait. Max is catching a few fish, so I'm uh, three quarters full speed here, trying to get down there. Four and a half miles per hour. Getting windy too. Can't maintain this pace. Need a motor. <laughs> you see the two pads or three pads coming up in front of you? Not yet. You're headed right at them. If you keep coming, you'll see just a couple little pads on the surface. Try that first. 
there's another set uh, straight northwest of me, and that's where I've been throwing to. Try right from that set in front of you and come on down to the other one. I haven't had a hit. Yeah, I see them there. Sorry, I talked over you. I, I see the pad you're talking about. Another waiver fish. A little better though. One hit it hard as soon as it hit the water. There I got one. I got one on. A little better. I might lose him, I don't know. Yeah, he's he's a thirteener. I've just changed out the batteries on my cameras, and you can see Max over there, and uh, he's he's caught about four four fish now, and um, here's to him. There's another one. Another small one. Well, not too bad. About the same size. Skinny little puppies. That's a better one. I just switched over to the uh, to the uh, Rapala and put a little weight on it. First cast. One more chance. Come on. Yeah. Damn, he's hooked funny, isn't he? <laughs> Got a dink. A rook, a shad. I put on this, uh, big bass a ruka shad bait here and uh, this is what I'm catching that's a dink absolute dink there got another little dink on here Funny though, as soon as I put on this Aruka Shad, Golden Black, which is my favorite bait for over in the... Uh... Take the school, moved over and said, Jerry needs some fish. Yeah, these are sympathy fish. 
and they're so small I can't tell when I got one on until he, he breaks water, you know, before I get him to the boat. Yeah, 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 I, I saw some minnows breaking surface right over here, but every time I throw out there, as soon as it hits the water, it gobs of weed, so it must be a super shallow spot. Yeah, tough to fish that.